Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. Today we take a look at yet another Power BI interview question and this question was asked in ENY. Actually this is a very important question and this can be asked any time in any of the companies and you should be familiar with this question even if you are a fresher in Power BI or an experienced profession. So here we go. Imagine we have two columns. One is the category, the other is the sales amount, right? So I'll be giving this PBIX file uh, in the description and comment. You can go ahead and download this. So let's concentrate on the content right now. So there are two columns, category and sales, right? So what happens if I drop in subcategory over here? Let me move subcategory to the second column, right? So you have category, which is at one level up below category, you have subcategory. And since you have dropped in the subcategory, these sales are now shown for subcategory right because it's doing a group by based on category and subcategory i have also i'm also having a visual on the right hand side which just to compare you have accessory and their sales amount so that we do not forget the sales amount at the category level now the question that the interviewer will ask you and this is a very basic question so what happens if for each row i want to get the total of that particular category okay so what is the accessories total so let's say uh, this is 12 lakh, right? Or 1.2 million dollars, right? For accessories. So I want that 1.2 million dollars to be repeated for all the rows, okay? For accessories. Similarly, for bike, how much you have? You have almost 9 crore 46 lakhs, right? Which is close to 94 million, I guess. So that particular figure should repeat for bikes. So I hope you're clear with the requirement. Now, how to achieve this? So as evident, if I drop in the sales amount over here, it's going to take the sales only for subcategory. But somehow you have to remove the filter because it's getting a filter context added over here. So you have to remove the filter for each and every row. For the first row, the filter context applies for bike rack. For the second row, it applies for bike stands. Now I do not want that, right? I want that somehow or the other, I need to remove the filter context from subcategory, right? So what measure we will write so let's go to new measure and we will write this as sales at category level so obviously we'll give calculate and we want to calculate the sum of sales amount from the sales table now comes the beauty right so now we have to eliminate or remove the filters which is coming from subcategory so we'll use all all is used for removing the filters at that particular level and we will write subcategory which is coming from product table so it will remove this particular filter context we'll close calculate let's bring in this to our visual and bingo we have 1.2 million dollars right at the accessories level look at the accessories total right 1272 it is matching next go to the bikes 946 it is matching with bikes next go to clothing 211 so if i scroll down this is 211 right so it is repeating for each and every row but the sales are at the category level not at the subcategory level so this is question number one so related to this question number one there might be other questions for example give me the percentage sales at category level so this is very easy so basically we will write sum of sales amount right which is this the first column divided by the one that we just created right and we will type on enter let us bring this percentage sales in our visual correct so uh, to analyze this you have to filter with a particular category so i'll go ahead and filter this visual with only let's say accessories right if you do that look so for bike racks, it contributes 18.64% of the sales, right? The maximum being helmets, which is 38% of the sales almost. And if you club all these things up for accessories, it comes to 100%. Okay, so I hope you are clear with uh, this second question as well. Now, a third question the interviewer might ask you is, let's say I want the subtotals at the category level. So I need a subtotal for accessories, a row over here. And then I need one for bikes and I, then I need one for clothing. Okay. So the thing is you, it's now depends on you, right? So the easiest way to achieve this is not using the table. You can go ahead and achieve this, but there is a tricky way. So the easiest way to achieve this is not using the tabular uh, visual, right? Or a table visual. So we will go ahead and convert this to a matrix. Once you convert this to a matrix, right? So this is the thing you have to pull your category and subcategory in the rows which will maintain the hierarchy 
So now if you see the categories, I am getting the total over here, right at the top and then followed by the bikes total, then followed by the clothing total. So the question three, which the interviewer is going to ask you, show me the totals at the category level along with the subcategory sales amount you will achieve this using a matrix visual and remember power bi has introduced many other features in the uh, matrix visual as well very recently i think a couple of months ago and all you have to do is come to layout and style presets there is something called layout okay if you choose tabular the totals will appear at the bottom instead of appearing at the top so this also nowadays the interviewers are asking are you aware of the familiar are you familiar with the uh, recent updates of power bi and what are the changes that has been made in the matrix visual okay and one of the most common asks so let's say earlier uh, you wanted the accessories to repeat like in tabular visual it was not possible in uh, matrix visual now they have actually solved that problem as well it is known as repeat row header so if you turn this on see accessories now gets repeated right so it almost becomes like a tabular visual and if you want you can also insert the blank rows over here look to make your uh, grid more appealing so that's it guys i hope you are uh, now familiar with all the four questions uh, that was asked in the interview and please make yourself very familiar with these questions uh, especially the category and the subcategory calculation using calculate so guys if you have any uh, comments related to this particular uh, method or video please let me know in the comment section and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel i request you to go ahead and subscribe because i'll be bringing you more useful content which will help you in your power bi preparation so till the next time we meet keep practicing power bi and bye bye